I have to hold my hands up. I thought it was going to be a disaster. <laughs> I genuinely did for a number of reasons. One, I sat there on that first Monday night football. Do you remember? It was Man City against Swansea. And I thought, because I'd never done live football before. Yeah. And I sat with you, you just explained, you didn't have the experience. And we'd had all the, I think there was a session on Twitter earlier. We'd all that Twitter thing. What are you doing signing Gary Neville, blah, blah, blah. What was going through your mind when we were sat there? And you get a count in your ear, 10 seconds to your on air, our first Monday night football ever. What were you thinking? Where's my water? <laughs> Because honestly, even now, you just, I don't know if it's anybody who's been, who's been on television, but you just basically, you can't get, you, your mouth's so dry. And I was so nervous. And people say, I was nervous as a football player at times, but I actually was so much more nervous doing Monday Night Football for the first time. More nervous doing Monday Night Football than a, a cup final, a game for England definitely, at Wembley. Definitely. I mean, now obviously I'm a little, I'm settled down a little bit, but that first show, it was like somebody was on times 32. I mean, I literally, you, you asked me a question and I was so fast. My hands were, I didn't know what to do with my hands. Uh, my broadcasting technique was nil. Um, but you just got to get used to it. It was the most nerve-wracking experiences I've had in my life, probably along with my driving test. I remember we got to kick off at the game. I think we got there six minutes early because we were both so nervous. We'd gone so fast. We had to we, fill for six minutes. We did an hour in 54 game. minutes. <laughs> it was a night. We're gonna come, I want to come back to Monday Night Football a bit later, but I want to talk to you about Gary Neville, the footballer first. And give us an idea, Gary, what it was like. You were, what, 19, was it, when you first went into that Manchester United dressing room? First team. In the first team, legends mm. everywhere. What on earth was that feeling like for you? It was an incredible feeling. Um, at the time, I, I travelled with the first team for... A couple of seasons from the age of 17 I've made my debut and because of the foreigner rule at the time there's a three foreigner rule in Europe we had to basically make up the squad with the young British talent so we were lucky enough fortunate enough myself Paul Scholes Nicky Book David Beckham uh, my brother to travel with the team and always be in the squads and just to be around Cantona and Keane and Robson in Schmeichel they were big personalities they were big leaders um, they had I would say it was probably the last school of the traditional type football player, the ones that would potentially go out for a drink well, after every game, really. <laughs> <laughs> they went out, you know, played on Saturday, you go out for a drink on the Saturday night, on the Wednesday, and then the, the Premier League was obviously just been introduced. Uh, there were more foreign players coming into the country, more foreign managers coming into the country, and to be fair, professionalism, I have to say, increased enormously around that time, and now to the point whereby players, you know, drink very little, I have to say, but they will do at the right time, but very little. And, for me at that time, all they wanted to do was play for United. I'd been to watch the team at the age of four, five, watched them all the way through my childhood and couldn't believe that I was getting the opportunity. Didn't feel as though I was the most talented by any stretch of the imagination, um, particularly in the group I was in, but we dragged each other through. I was part of a very special group and we all looked after one another. 